Well, the days are getting shorter, and the DNR says that leaves are already starting to change across the lower third of the state. The colors typically don't peak, though, until uh, for about another several weeks. So how do those leaves know when it's time to change? An expert helped Heather Brown shed some light on that good question a few years before the pandemic. So are you guys looking forward to fall? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Those apples are awesome. Football's on. Go Vikes. I'm born for fall. That's why I moved here. Sometimes the trees just know. I don't know. They're wise old trees. Early October is time for a change. I'll have to ask my daughter. They probably know more than I do about this question. <laughs> the magic colorist yeah. goes boom. <laughs> like the pathophysiology of... of Oh, look at these words, huh? I don't, I don't know. That's, that's the biggest word in my vocabulary. It, it's really kind of simple. Val Cervenka is with a DNR. There's a signal, and the tree signal is the days are getting shorter. And so that is key. You see, leaves get their green color from chlorophyll. Its green pigment actually masks the leaves' true yellow and brown color all summer long. Yeah, it's coming back. It's all coming back. And when there's less sunlight... That's what happens. The photosynthesis kind of shuts off. And that's what causes the decrease in chlorophyll. That green pigment breaks down. See, now you can add that to your vocabulary. Photosynthesis. <laughs> it's almost as big a word. I need to start saying that. That shuts down, but that allows the yellow colors to show through. Right, right, oh. right. Angus, hi. <laughs> so if it's rainy and cloudy, would there be a different color? Is that the way ah, that works? That's a very good question. Temperature has an effect on the color, actually, not as much when they change. If we have warm nights and warm days, the color is not going to be as brilliant. That's because the sugars in red and purple leaves are what make them colorful. Colder weather at night stops the flow of the sap, letting the sugars build up and shine through. Everything's still green right now, except every so often you see a tree that's already turned. Why is that? That's because that tree is under some sort of stress. Could be too much or too little water, or maybe something is happening to the roots. They've been run over because there's a sidewalk right there or a street. We're just out here giving science lessons. Well, Brown. Appreciate it. We're tell the next people we see about that. WCCO 4 News. You can track the fall colors on the DNR website. It is updated every week. We have a link to it at WCCO.com.